Moving on to some picks for the college football weekend. The first game we got is a Friday night game um, between UAB and Marshall. Marshall is five point favorites in this one. Game set to kick off at 7 p.m. Eastern. UAB comes into this game at five and three on the season, two and six against the spread. Marshall seven and zero on the season and five and two against the spread. And this Marshall team has just done a great job putting up points and moving the ball downfield. You know, thirty-seven point four three points per game, five four hundred and fifty. Um, 0.28 yards a game um, compared to UAB you know only 29.25 points per game and 392 yards a game so Marshall's looking very good um, they've also done a good job not turning the ball over only 0.86 turnovers per game compared to UAB's 1.88 turnovers a game um, and one thing that really stuck out to me about this Marshall team is their penalties you know only turning or only penalty only five penalized 5.86 times a game for 60.57 yards um while UAB penalized 9.5 penalties for 88.75 yards um and really this Marshall minus five play I haven't felt this confident about a play um in quite some time the last time I really felt this good about a play was you know when Liberty was plus 15 I think it was against Virginia Tech that line which is crazy that was the last time where I was like really sure that a uh, of a pick so i really like this marshall pick if you don't take any other picks from this card um that's the one that i would suggest taking um but the next game we got moving on to saturday's card for college football we got louisiana lafayette taking on coastal carolina coastal carolina minus three in this one game set to kick off at 3 30 p.m eastern um, you know, Louisiana comes into this game nine and one and five and five on the season. Coastal Carolina, you know, having an outstanding season. Both these teams are really, you know, um, Louisiana has only one losses to Coastal, but Coastal Carolina comes in at 11 and 0, 8, 2 and 1 on the season with that big time win over BYU just a few weeks ago. But Coastal, um, while they haven't putting up some good points you know one thing that really sticks out about this team is their time of possession 34 minutes 14 seconds time of possession compared to louisiana's 27 minutes and 56 second time of possession um just really helps win games um and this coastal carolina team one of the least penalized teams in all of college football only 3.36 penalties per game for 33.45 yards and then, you know that's just a winning caliber team right there when you're only um, having penalties you know you're limiting the stupid mistakes you're playing smart football that really helps you win games a lot more than just having the you know just the team that runs down the field and puts up a lot of points all day which they do have some of that don't get me wrong but this coastal carolina team that's i think that is probably the one of the more underlooked things about their game that gives them such an advantage when it comes to this um and i think they easily um, win the Sun Belt here and cover the minus three in this one. And the last game that we got on the college football card for the weekend, we got Minnesota plus 13 versus Wisconsin. Game set to kick off at 4 p.m. Eastern on Saturday. Um, both these teams coming into this game pretty average. You know, Minnesota three and three on the season, three and three against the spread. Why uh, Wisconsin two and three on the season, two and three against the spread. Um, and while this Minnesota team has kind of taken a step back from their uh, share last year of the title um this minnesota team is definitely a team that i like to see um you know 29 points per game compared to wisconsin's 22.8 points um you know 404 yard 0.33 yards per game um compared to wisconsin's 366.2 yards and i think this wisconsin team well i don't think they're a bad team by any means i think graham mertz kind of got overblown right at the start of the season you know had a big time um opening weekend game there um, and I just don't think this Wisconsin team's quite as good as the media, you know, kind of said they were right at the beginning of Big Ten play. But, um, yeah, I definitely like Minnesota plus 13 for the final play on Saturday's college football card.